correctly because I do feel like it's really important to understand better ways of eating, all right? Because that's really what this is about, how to lose fat without tracking your calories. Tracking your calories, not tracking your calories is all about better ways of eating that's better than what you're currently doing if you have some fat to lose, okay? Now, let's start off with number one. And number one is going to be about having calorie awareness, okay? You don't have to track your calories every single day, every step of the way, everything that you eat. Although I do feel like you should do it for a period of time so you can just have some awareness about the amount of calories that are in the food choices that you're making on a daily basis. You don't want to be blind when it comes to what you're eating and how many total calories you're consuming. That's just a bad situation to be in. Okay, That's like hopping in your car and the gas gauge is just broken and it's going in any direction. You don't know how much gas is in there. The last time you put ten dollars in there and you've been driving for like i should say five days you don't know if you're about to go out of gas or you got a full tank you don't know all right it's better to know calorie tracking is kind of like that it's how much gas is in the vehicle right how many calories is in your you know your body based off of the food choices that you're putting in there okay so just kind of view it that way and let's just use the broad example of the normal standard 2000 calories a day all right you need 2000 calories a day specifically for you to lose fat or to be in a caloric deficit if you're eating calorically dense foods like peanut butter lots of nuts lots of seeds and things like that you know a lot of healthy fats even though they're healthy they're still fats which have more calories than protein and carbs so you throwing a lot of those snacking on those things and this is easily adding up the calories that you're putting into your body and you don't know how many you're taking in so when you start tracking those foods that helps you understand the amounts of calories that are in certain food choices that you're making throughout the day so you have more awareness, okay? So I always do recommend at least, I'm not saying you got to track it, but at least look at the serving sizes. If you all are listening to this on the podcast, I have the chocolate frosty protein powder. The serving size is 110 calories, all right? And uh, serving size is the equivalent to 30 grams. So I know that I use 30 grams of that. That's 110 calories. All right. So I've already subtracted 110 out of my 2000 for the day. Right. And that's just the, the one scoop. So you keep understanding the amounts of foods that you put into your body. You keep understanding the amounts of calories are in those. You can make better decisions from that point because you understand, OK, I have a certain amount that I should be eating per day. And all these little individual foods that I'm eating throughout the day, they all have different amounts of food of calories. And it's not based on how big that food is size wise or how little that food is size wise because something small can have a lot of calories and something big can have a few calories and vice versa i always recommend at least just trying to go through a period of time of, of learning or at least just looking at the labels and getting an understanding of these calories amounts right so i know number one is kind of you know contradicting so to speak the overall topic of the video but have some sort of awareness about the calories that you put into your body all right look at the nutrition labels at least start there one other thing that i want to uh align with this along with having some sort of awareness right having being calorically aware when you do get ready to eat whatever you're about to eat ask yourself this one question is what i'm about to eat right now bringing me closer to my goals or pulling me further away all right. Let that be the question, because, again, you're not tracking calories, so you don't necessarily know how many calories are in those food choices that you're making. So ask yourself that question. It's what I'm about to eat right now. I'm pulling me closer to my goals or pulling me further away. Is it taking me closer or pulling me further away? All right. That should be in your mind when you're eating these food sources that you're making. Number two, no liquid calories. All right. And no calories from these little snacks. So what do I mean by this? Pops or a soda, whatever you call it, depending on where you're from. Uh, cut it out okay there are diet versions which is zero calories you can roll with that if you want lots of people have different perspectives when it comes to diet pops and stuff like that i personally don't think nothing's wrong with it every once in a while not every single day for every meal right but like working one in if you're used to having like three pops a day and instead you bring that down to one you know diet pop a day that's progress all right every little step is progress aside from that Cut out these Gatorades, cut out all these juices, cut out all these things that are high in calories that aren't really providing you any bang for your buck, so to speak. All right. All you're getting out of that is just some satisfaction from some liquid that's not really filling you up. That's not really helping with 
the overall satisfaction of filling food that you're taking in. The only exception that I would make in this situation is like a protein shake that you make because it's going to give you some protein. And if you do it the right way, you also get some veggies from that as well. And, you know, you can add a little hemp seeds or something like that that can help you feel that satisfaction, right? But also get the protein in. Make sure that you cut out all those little things. This also includes little things that you snack on, gum, nuts, seeds, trail mix. Cut all that stuff out because that's not bringing you closer to your goals. It's actually taking you further away because you don't know how many calories you're taking in, right? Because you're not tracking, right? It's what you want. You got to deal, you know, you can't get something for nothing, all right? You got to sacrifice at some point. If you're, if you're not, if it's not going to be sacrificing with tracking the actual calories and the foods, you got to sacrifice with the overall choices that you're making and in your flexibility and variety, all right? That is one of the benefits of tracking your calories. So, you know, you got to give a little bit, think of some. Number three, increase your NEAT. And this is an acronym, N-E-A-T. And that basically stands for Non-Exercise Activity Thermogenesis. Just a fancy way of saying all the activities that you're doing that's outside of the gym or that's outside of your exercise. That can be going for a walk, right? Multiple walks. Cleaning your house. Walking your dog. Parking to the back of the parking lot whenever you're going to work or the grocery store, wherever you're going out, right? All these little things that help you get more actions in, which helps you burn more calories uh, throughout the scope of that day, right? Just increasing those daily things that you're doing that's helping you be more active, burn off more energy um, that you normally wouldn't be burning off if you were just sitting down and chilling and laying around, all right? Find a way to stay active throughout the day because it's going to help you burn more calories. And over the course of the period that you're trying to lose weight, these little activities are going to add up and it's going to make you more active. It's going to help improve your stamina. It's going to help improve your endurance. Also be beneficial when it comes to fat loss in the long run. All right. And obviously burn more calories as well. So um, that can even be if you're at work, right? And you're on lunch break, you know, just walk the staircase up and down. Or if you're at the house, you got a staircase, walk that up and down a few times, right? Just do little things proactively, intentionally to get more steps in or to just get more active actions in all right throughout the day number four eat more protein and more whole foods throughout the day all right so i do recommend i'm, I'm a big fan of intermittent fasting or at least, at least a version of intermittent fasting because i don't follow it directly every single day that specific way i don't have like a set time that i start eating a set time that i stop but i'm usually not that hungry in the morning like right now it is 10 49 a.m and i haven't eaten and i'm not hungry Right. Uh, but I do recommend if you're not going to be tracking your calories, uh, you may want to have something earlier in the day and it doesn't have to be a full meal. This is kind of what I was mentioning earlier, where a protein shake will come in handy. Right. Because that allows you to get in at least 20 grams of protein, 22 grams of protein, depending, depending on the protein powder and whatever else you add to it. Right. So it allows you to get that in earlier in the day. Plus, if you do that earlier in the day, you're not going to be as hungry during lunchtime, especially if you're not used to fasting or if you are are always hungry in the morning and used to having a big breakfast, all right? So have a protein shake or something early in the, in the day where you can get some quick protein in and then also, you know, surround that with more whole foods, all right? You're going to be wanting to have more vegetables, more leafy greens, more fruits, right? And things that are not high in calories, all right? You don't want to go with fruits like bananas as much because those don't provide you a lot of food for the amount of calories you want to stick with something like melon strawberries and then for your you know leafy greens whatever leafy green you want they all really low in calories and provide you a lot of food value which kind of goes into the part two of part one which is prioritize high volume low calorie foods all right so things that are very low in calories that give you a lot of food volume, a lot of food for that calorie amount. The things that are not high volume and that are a lot of calories, like peanut butter and those fats, right? A lot of those fat sources, those are things you kind of want to like slim down on. Actually, I should say cut out because you're you don't know how much of it you're really consuming if you're not tracking your calories. And you can kind of see I'm throwing shade throughout this whole entire video just because you don't want to track your calories, which I do believe it's the most effective way because you know what you're eating and how many calories you're taking in. But if you don't, just cut these things out because it's going to help you be more successful. All right. Um, so 
prioritize eating more protein with every meal, more whole foods with every meal. All right. So in the morning time, make sure that you're having some fruit in there, right? Grab some watermelon or so some honeydew or some strawberries or some berries or whatever it may be. For your lunch, make sure that you're getting a lot of spinach or you know sauteed asparagus whatever your preferred veggie is have that because it's going to be very filling it's obviously going to give you lots of nutrients those things that we really need but it's going to be very filling for you and make you feel good as well all right and not feel as hungry because it's going to fill up space in your stomach and although it's not a lot of calories that space that's being filled up it makes you feel better this episode is sponsored by built by plant supplements the elite plant-based nutrition supplement company provides you with support for all of your goals whether that's building muscle losing fats, improving your performance in a gym and getting some great night rest, all right? So if you're tired of people asking you constantly, where do you get your protein? Tell them bbpsubs.com. Come over and grab you some vegan protein powder, chocolate frosty flavor, 110 calories per serving with 22 grams of protein. And if you don't like chocolate, we got a vanilla ice cream as well. Get your pre-workout powder so you can be a beast in the gym and the creatine to support that muscle growth, all right? And if you really need some great night rest, go ahead and grab you some night caps good melatonin gonna help you be knocked out not waking up in the middle of the night none of that bad stuff all right so bbpsubs.com use the checkout code bbp10 and save 10 percent off your whole order on top of that free shipping over any order over 75 dollars bbpsubs.com let's get back to the episode number five and this is going to hurt a lot of y'all feelings no restaurants Eat from home. If you're serious about this, you're really trying to lose fat this year and you're trying to actually reach that goal that you're trying to accomplish, you got to view this as something that has a set deadline, something that you're going for and that you're striving towards, all right? Right now, we're not focused about lifestyle. We're not focused about incorporating different ways of being and having fun with our friends and all this stuff. That's not really what it's about. What this is about is having a set target because you want to lose fat and you're not trying to track your calories. You want to do this with intention. The reason why I say no restaurants, you know, usually if you're tracking your calories, I always say you can go to the restaurant, but you just got to be a little bit more specific with how you order your food. We're saying no restaurants because if you go to the restaurant and you're trying to be mindful of what you're eating, you're probably going to tell them, you want specific ways of your food being made. You know, oil or no butter. You want your rice just to be straight. Same thing for your protein, whatever that may be. You want it to just be as clean as possible. No extra stuff. Well, what you're going to the restaurant for? That meal that you're about to eat, that's going to cost five times as much as it would have cost for the same exact meal if you would have just went to the grocery store and bought the ingredients and made it at home. So make your food at home. If it's a date, you're out with your spouse or friends, whatever, invite them to the house. You cook for them. You know, you do the specifics. You make it a fun event because again, you have a set goal that you have in mind. So you don't want to be get, getting caught up in all those details of, oh, I'm overthinking and now I got to make this meal. They got to, I got to tell the waiter to make my food this way and all this stuff. Just eat it from home right? Put together a fun little event at the house or whatever. You control the variables. You control what's going in and what's going out so that you can know what you're, you know, what you're doing to some extent, at least have some control over uh, the food choices that you're making during this period of time. And I'm not saying that going out to eat. I mean, I'm actually very pro going out to eat and enjoying your diet and all these different types of things. But again, we're in a situation where we're not tracking our calories. So we got to have some something with intent all right this is not about feeling good this is not about having the best time of your life this is about reaching a goal you got 20 pounds to lose five pounds to lose 50 pounds 100 plus pounds whatever it may be go after it with intention go after it in a serious way go out there it with determination and a real focus on getting it done because it's probably been a while since you actually been at the weight range or the body fat percentage or the actual physique look that you want. So go out there it seriously. All right. Don't worry about the going out to eat. It's always going to be there. That's not going nowhere. Do this. Focus on this and get it done so you can get it out the way. All right. So that's number five. And if you see me looking this way, it's because I got everything just listed. I just have the, the outline so I can know what I'm talking about and stay on point because I am the king of uh, going out track and talking about something completely different. All right. Number six, how are we going to track our progress since you don't want to track your calories? Uh, there's a few different methods. There's a lot of different methods. You can watch it up. 10 videos by 10 different people and everybody's going to tell you something different. All right. You got to figure out what works best for you that you can actually see how you're progressing. But something I would just recommend to start off with, you may not want to track your weights every single day, right? You may want to do that once 
once a week on a specific day under the same circumstances. All right, in the morning with minimal clothes on, after you use the washroom, before you eat anything, all that stuff, right? Have a specific way that you go about tracking your body weight because you're not tracking your calories, so you don't know exactly how many calories you're eating on a daily basis. It's kind of a guess, guessing game. So your weight is going to fluctuate day to day based off the food choices that you made the day before. All right. So if you ate a little bit later in the night, you're still going to have that food volume, that amount of food that you ate in your stomach before you go, you know, if you didn't go to the washroom in the morning yet when you weighed in. So you don't want to let those little fluctuations, especially if you're that type of person where daily fluctuations in weight can kind of mess with your mind and your psyche because you think you did good and then now you see the weight going up and you know you don't want to deal with that right because it's not really a real true indication of how much you're progressing if you are actually in a caloric deficit because weight can change day to day especially for example if you're a woman it's around that time of month you know your weight may change and it may throw you completely off because you're like man i'm doing so well i know i'm doing well but the weight scale don't tell what's actually going on you know, if you had something a little bit higher in sodium the night before, you may, weight may go up a little bit because you hold on to a little bit more water, so on and so forth. Same thing for the car. So keep in mind, you may not want to weigh yourself on a daily basis. You may want to put that to once a week or biweekly, but use other methods, right? That's my point. Use other methods. Maybe track your photos, your, your progress photos. You may want to do those bi-weekly. Or if you want to see how you're looking on a weekly basis, you can do that as well. Some people like to track the measurements. In this situation, you can track your, your measurements, especially if you have a lot of weight to lose. That's up to you. Maybe do that bi-weekly or progress photos. That's what I recommend. Honestly, this really isn't last. There's a lot more that I can do, but this video has been kind of long, so we'll just cap it at this. But you need to weight train, all right? You need to lift some weights. You need to pick some weights up, put some weights down, find a program that you can do, that you can stick to, that you also enjoy, all right? Because all this is about adherence. If you can't adhere to this, then you're probably going to stop. And obviously, no, no results come when you actually stop, all right? You're not going to make any progress if you just quit. And it may be the best program in the world, but if you're not enjoying it and you can't stick with it, then it's technically the worst program in the world for you, regardless of how optimal it is, because you're not doing it. So find something that you can stick with. Find something that you enjoy. If you need help, there's a lot of different programs that we have down below. Uh, we have the Pocket Coach with all of our weight training programs in there and all of our body weight programs. We have lots of different options inside the Pocket Coach. If y'all don't know about it, we'll talk about it at the end of this video. Um, obviously, we have our one-on-one -on -one coaching and our group coaching as well. Those are options. We have a full environment of people that are actually on the same path. We have a full community with everyone posting their results and you know their progress, all that good stuff, right? But find something that you can do that you enjoy, even if it's just... I really don't recommend this, but some people do it anyways. Even if it's just YouTubing some workouts and just doing it, it's better than doing nothing. All right. So find something that you can do that can help you stay motivated to lift weights. And guys, you're not going to be able to progress as fast as you all think you are. I don't know why every time I get on these coaching calls, somebody's telling me they want to put on 30 pounds of muscle within like the next three months. I'm like, um, you know, you may want to look <laughs> to accomplishing that within a year or two because it's a better a better way of viewing it. And then women as well, you all are not going to get bulky by lifting weights. If anything, it's just going to enhance your curves more and make you look more shapely in the ways you want, right? You're going to have to have supreme genetics, all right, in order to get really bulky, bulky or some sort of uh, performance enhancements, all right? Um, those are usually the two circumstances that people are able to progress and have, be bulky as a woman. Um, same thing for guys. You know, some people be saying, I don't want to, you know, look super big. I don't want to get too big. I want to, I want to look like I work out and stuff like that. I'm like, if you only knew how much of an insult that is to people that actually do work out and do train and actually do have the intention of looking bulky or whatever you call it, right? Looking really jacked, like that is a huge insult because they've been training for years, five years, 10 years, and still don't look the way that you claim that you're going to look as soon as you start working out. Anyways, like I said, I, I, be, I can start a whole nother rant about something. That's why I try to keep these outlines so I can stay on point. But find a weight training program that you can do that you can stick to that can make you motivated to get it done day in day out, stay on track, stay on path. And this is the basic outline of how you can lose fat without tracking your calories on a plant-based diet. All right. There are some more specifics. 
There are some more individual things. There are some more smaller details I can go into even about how to actually eat when you do eat so that you're not over consuming your foods and meals. But I'll say that for another video. Again, make sure that you all head over to bbpsubs.com. Grab you some protein powder. Grab you some pre-workout as well while you're at it, right? So this is that. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I want to release this just yet. This is the new one, all right? This is the hit different. Um, let me see. This is the one that y'all can grab, all right? We are, we haven't released the hit different. It's it's legit. This is the one that y'all can grab. Um, the hit different that's coming out probably within the next month or so. Um, so I won't even promote that one. But it does hit differently. You better believe that. And then everything else that we have, bbpsubs.com to grab all of our supplements. The ashwagandha. That stuff is legit, man. This literally puts you in the mood. Like I said, this is what I take when I'm ready to just relax, calm down, um, and just enjoy myself. You know, this releases a little bit of that stress, the anxiety that you feel, and just, just feel more calm and at peace. Um, we have a new year challenge coming up. I want y'all to join. I want y'all to be a part of this. And it's going to be every year for the new year. So if you're watching this years ahead of time, we're probably still doing it, maybe. Or if we're not, at least you can do the actual program. But tap the link down in the description and join the new year challenge. There's two options. There's a challenge to just buy the specific program. There's a challenge. There's the one where you can actually join our coaching squad and be coached by us um, to reach those goals that you have all right and to be able to implement some of these things that we're talking about in a video i hope this was helpful i hope this provided some value to you all you all head over to bbpsubs.com grab all your supplements if you all want access to the built by plants pocket coach for one dollar like i've been talking about throughout this entire uh existence almost of the channel at least this year um that has all of our programs, all of our nutrition plans that has all of our workouts, right? Everything that we have, our weight training workouts for dumbbells, for barbells, for both machines, body weight only. Pretty much everything that you need, different programs that you can do for women, for men, right? All the different ones that we have. We have the Rebuild with Precision program for the guys. We have the Fat Loss and Courage program for the women, Lots of different things, options for you to choose from. It also has a built-in meal planner. So you can pick meals from our virtual kitchen, which is all of our recipes that we have. Recipes made by me, recipes made by Raina, all the different ones you can choose from. And have some fun with those and be able to put them on your meal plan and see how many calories you're eating for the full day. All right, so head over to builtbyplants.io to get started with the Built by Plants Pocket Coach. And I would love for you all to be a part of the community. Join it for just $1, right? Right now you get a seven-day trial for $1. And then after that, it's just $27 per month. And uh, cancel anytime. And there's an actual app if you have an iPhone that you can download from the App Store. After you go to builtbyplants.io to sign up, you can go to the App Store and download the app. Just type in Built by Plants and tap the one that says Pocket Coach. We have two apps. We have one for our coaching clients and then one for the Pocket Coach. The green icon is the Pocket Coach and then the white one is for the coaching clients. Run this back if you all need to rewind some of these tips because I'm sure there was a lot of value. I hope that you all can grasp from this and I'll catch y'all the next one. Peace. I want to invite you to join the Built by Plants Pocket Coach, which is our private community and app where I have all the tools, the resources, the courses, and the community to help you succeed towards your goals. We have an actual drag and drop meal plan builder that's gonna allow you to grab foods that are inside of what we call the virtual kitchen. It's basically all of our plant-based recipes that have been designed to specifically work for the calories and the protein that you need so you can make some progress. You can take the meals out of the virtual kitchen and drag and drop them onto your meal plan builder. And every day, Monday through Sunday, it'll let you know what you're taking in, a recipe video to show you how to make them, also how many calories for that specific day. So you can say structure. Also, it's gonna give you a virtual grocery list so you can grab only what you need so you're not wasting money when you get into the grocery store. I know that sounds perfect, but let me tell you the rest. It's also have a private community and an actual app that you can download from the App Store or the Android Store so you can post inside of our community. Similar to like Facebook without all the junk, this is specifically towards people that have goals that want to see themselves succeed on a plant-based diet. Even if you've been plant-based for 15 years, you can always make progress towards how your body looks. 
and that's what this is geared towards. So all of our community members are posting their meals, they post their workouts, they ask questions, and every Sunday we meet on a Zoom call where we're connecting, we're growing, we're creating new recipes from scratch, we're meal prepping together, doing all type of cool things that's gonna help you stay in line and stay mentally prepared and mentally focused so you can actually reach your goal, right? I know you only lost 20 pounds before, but guess what, it usually comes right back because you don't have no support, you don't have no accountability, you don't have no guidance, you don't have nobody in your life in this area that's helping you make progress. And that's what I want for you. Once you go to that next page, it's $27 per month in order to get the Pocket Coach. And you could cancel if you don't like it, but you're not gonna cancel, you're gonna love it. I will see you inside the Pocket Coach so I can help you make progress towards your goals and stick with this lifestyle for the rest of your life. See you in a few.